Bienvenidos a la clase de español con Señor Japan. So, next time I see you in class, we are going to be discussing the differences between the two Spanish verbs, ser and estar, which both mean to be in English, but have very different meanings in the Spanish language. So, to begin, we are going to look at the verb ser. Ser, as you see, I have it as meaning to be, but also it's more permanent, and I put it in quotes, because does that mean it never ever changes? No, but it's not an instant change. So, for example, some vocabulary lists that we have already worked with that would use the verb ser. Adjectives, if you were describing someone or thing, you would use the verb ser, if you wanted to say what color something is. El globo es rojo, the balloon is red. Um, all of those would use the verb ser. Now you already know your pronouns, so they are all, you'll notice they're on there in the beginning. And then what you do is you conjugate the verb ser, which I show you in the chart, the different conjugations for the verb ser. Now you already know this one, whether you realize it or not. And for a brief demonstration of the verb ser, I'm going to ask my daughter, Samantha, to help us. Hi, Samantha. Hola, Samantha. Hola. When I ask Samantha, ¿de dónde eres? Yo soy de Nueva Jersey. Soy. Did you hear her respond? My question to eres, and she responded, yo soy. You've already learned that, and you know that from the verb ser. Gracias, Samantha. But don't go far. The next verb that we're practicing will be the verb estar, which also means to be. Like I said, they both mean the same thing. But this one is temporary, used with emotions and places. So, vocabulary that we've learned. When we learned rooms in the school, those are places. If you wanted to say where someone is just at the time, you would be using the verb estar. I'm again going to borrow my daughter, Samantha. All right, Samantha, you see in there? So if I wanted to ask you, ¿Dónde estás? Where are you? ¿Dónde estás? Yo estoy en mi casa. She's saying she's in her house, right? And if you were in the school, you would say, Yo estoy en la escuela. There's both of us here, so Samantha and I could say, Nosotros estamos en la casa. So, those are the two verbs. We are going to be very, very brief and introductory with these verbs. I have to tell you, ser versus estar, especially for English speakers, it is something that you work on. There are so many different nuances and small differences between them at times that it does take much, much practice. So, over time, you will get comfortable with the differences between the two verbs. But again, in class, next time I see you, we are going to be going to the very basics. We are going to be looking at vocabulary lists that we've already learned and know. And we are going to incorporate these verbs into them so that we can start making full sentences with them now. We can start really describing people with the verb ser or now that we know how to say where we are, we can start telling people where in the school are we, not just basic vocabulary. There now we are going to begin to bring everything together with these verbs. So I look forward to seeing you next time in class. Adios, amigos.